Today I want to talk about price elasticity of demand and particularly about how price elasticity of demand varies along a straight line demand curve. We have our old friend tuna and a conventional straight line demand curve of minus one gradient. What we'll, we will see from this cur curve is that elasticity is not constant even though the gradient of this line remains constant at minus one. Price elasticity of demand shows the responsiveness of quantity demanded to a change in price. And the conventional way to calculate this is to compare the change in quantity demanded with the change in price, which caused that change in demand. We always have to be careful using percentages, because a percentage will very much depend upon the start point for the calculation. So if we consider point A towards the top of the demand curve, imagine an original price of 10 falling to a price of 9. Because the gradient of this line is minus 1, this will cause an increase in demand of 1 unit. But for price elasticity of demand, the importance is not the absolute change, but the proportionate change. Thus, a price change from 10 to 9 is minus 10%. This causes an increase in demand of 100%. 1 to 2 is a 100% rise. Thus the change in demand of 100% is much greater than the change in price which caused that. This gives us an elasticity value of minus 10, meaning that demand has changed by 10 times the amount of the price change. This, of course, is very elastic, flexible. Demand has changed. A large amount relative to the price. As we move down the curve then the quantity values increase and thus an absolute change of one unit will be a much smaller percentage compared to when we start with a very small number of tuna demanded. In the very middle of this demand curve we see that a price change from 6 to 5 is 16% and this causes a demand increase from 5 to 6 of 20%. Now, using the calculation, we get a value of minus 1.25. The change in demand is 1.25 times bigger than the change in price. This, however, is misleading. Because total expenditure is constant at £30, when the price is 6, five units are bought, 30 pounds. When the price is five, six units are bought, but total expenditure has remained constant. If total expenditure remains constant when we change the price, this defines elasticity as minus one or unit, and it is unit elastic in the very middle of the demand curve. Towards the bottom of the demand curve, still the gradient is minus one, we see things changed again. A price cut from 2 to 1 is a 50% cut in price. And this of course causes an increase in demand again of 1 unit, but as a percentage 9 to 10 is only 11%. This time of course the change in demand is much smaller than the price change and this is inelastic. The actual value is minus 0.22. Thus demand is changing by 0.22 as much as the price changed and this of course is inelastic. Along a straight line demand curve demand goes from being elastic at the top section to unit in the middle and to inelastic on the bottom section. Strictly at the very ends of the curve this is infinitely elastic at the top and has zero elasticity at the bottom.